Pages store in the heart of Cincinnati is moving. Tiffany's is packing up its gold, silver and diamonds, leaving Fountain Square and heading up I-71 to the Kenwood Town Center. It is the latest downtown retailer to pull up stakes. When Tiffany's opened on Fountain Square 20 years ago, it was a big, big deal and widely considered to be a sign of vitality downtown. In light of that, Nine on Your Sides, Ashley Zilka looks at what the move means for the Central Business District. First, it was Macy's, the department stores closing mid-March. Now we have learned Tiffany's is closing by the end of the year. But experts tell me this does not mean in any way that downtown Cincinnati is dying. It's one of the most valuable pieces of real estate in downtown Cincinnati, but Fountain Place will soon be empty. So what does that mean? I asked Doug Mormon with Development Strategies Group. The loss of Tiffany's is it's disappointing, uh, but it's not entirely unexpected. By the end of the year, you won't be able to find that iconic Tiffany blue box downtown. The closing of the jewelry store follows in the footsteps of Macy's. We're watching a, a change in the way people shop. That's very clear. The company that developed Fountain Place said last month it views this as an opportunity to find a new future for the building. The structure was designed to hold up to a 22 story tower. At the time, it was assumed that the tower would be office. Uh, we're not making that assumption at the moment because there are a lot of other options to be explored. Those options include anything from offices to housing to even a hotel. Mormon says downtown retail may be going away right now, but not for long. I think when you get those residents back, uh, when we see the office market continue to grow, uh, the retail will follow that because retail follows people. Tiffany's isn't leaving the tri-state. The store is moving to Kenwood Town Center. Macy's corporate headquarters is staying downtown. Reporting in downtown, Ashley Zoka, 9 on your side.